I'm DJ. This is PBC. Today is Friday, and that means it is the week, weekly, weekly, weekly weblog. Woohoo! Today is the 20th. Tomorrow is Saturday the 21st. And what is Saturday the 21st? Hmm. Burrin Chipley Day! You got it. Tomorrow is the Burrin Chipley concert. So, if you do not have your tickets, you had better get your tickets because we are starting to really sell those seats out. We're getting close to being sold out. So do not wait forever. It is going to be an awesome, awesome show. I am so looking forward to hearing One Talk Over the Line live. I can't even tell you how excited I am. So today is the uh, today is the day that they're thirty dollars. So you can go on our website. You can give me a call. I'll get you set up, or you can come have a, a cup of coffee and come get your tickets. If you wait till tomorrow, they're going to go up five dollars, and they will be thirty-five dollars a piece. And by the time showtime comes, around 7 o'clock when we start taking tickets and opening the doors, I can't guarantee you're going to get a ticket. So don't wait forever. Come get your tickets and join us for an awesome show. On Sunday, the Photo Club is going to have a little field trip. We're going to travel all the way to PPC. Convenient, huh? And we're going to work up in the studio with some models. So if you've ever been interested in working with studio lighting or maybe working a little bit on how to pose people and work a little more with the you know, portraiture. It is totally open to the public. Bring your camera, bring your, you know, your learning capabilities and come join us and uh, work with some models with us and have some fun. Uh, we're gonna start that at three o'clock, Sunday, three o'clock, bring your camera, we will supply everything else. Uh, Thursday is gonna be our jam night. It's gonna be the fourth Thursday, so that means it's jam night. Uh, if you're kind of curious as to Jam Night, I have a couple videos up on this YouTube channel. So go check them out. See, it's a lot of fun. Everybody has a great time. It's nice and casual. So if you want to get out of your basement and come play with some other lo local musicians, come give us, a, you know, give us a try. Come join us. Starts at 5 o'clock. We have it upstairs. Lights, sound, you get to play rock star. So it could be better than that, right? Um, Charlie's going to be starting something new. A little chess club. So if you're interested in playing chess, come join Charlie. You do not have to be an expert. If you've never played a game of chess but you want to learn how to play chess, Charlie's an awesome, awesome teacher and he would love to, you know, share his love of chess. He's going to start doing that pretty soon, the first and third Wednesdays of the month. So um, if you're interested, give us a call and let us know that you're interested and we can start getting that arranged for you. Um, I would like to personally ask anybody who likes chess to please come do me a favor and please come play Charlie and beat him because I cannot beat him at chess so I'd love to I'd love to just see Charlie get beat once because um, I've never seen that he always kicks my butt so um, that's I want to see somebody kick his for once okay so uh, please do that come join Charlie and have fun with chess uh, for me right now we're running a Valentine's Day is coming up we got a Valentine's Day special uh, this does not require any skin to be shown if you don't want to, but it's a little bit of a all-in-one package for Valentine's Day. So if you have a sweetie and you want to find something really awesome for them, you don't have to travel to all the stores. We have your one-stop shop. You come in, you get some nice fantasy photos taken, and that does not mean that you have to show a lot of skin. If that's not your thing, uh, you can come and we can take great portraits that are really, really cool that I'm sure your significant other would love. Um, you can show as much skin as you want. We have three awesome packages. They're all inclusive. They, um, each of them are different levels that in, uh, have different gift ideas, so you get to pick what you want. Um, uh, one of the things we're starting to offer, and they're in our packages, is you can choose to get a photo book. These things are awesome. I love these. We're going to start offering these here at PBC to everybody. If you notice, you don't have to worry about your pictures falling out. They are printed on the page. This one's the biggest one they have. It's a pretty ginormous one. These are great for seniors, for weddings, for Valentine's Day presents. Valentine's Day people, who wouldn't want one of these to put like in their office drawer when they're missing their sweetie in the middle of the day, work week, you open it up, you look at your honey and you're like, I love my sweetheart, they got me a nice book. So uh, if you're interested, come check that out. We have great prices on those packages. And if that's not good enough, and I think it's pretty awesome, but you know, I'm always going that extra mile. If you go to the Island Salon across the street from us, if you go to Callie's next door to us, or if you want to go down the street, get an oil change from Eddie over at Horton's Auto and Outdoor, they have little red cards. And if you get one of their referral cards, 
then you're getting an additional 10% off of these package prices. So I mean, honestly, with the way the economy is and the gas, you come here, you get extra 10% off, you get all your gifts in one stop so you don't have to drive around and scratch your head and wonder what you're going to get. We got it taken care of. So give me a call and we will get you set up. Valentine's Day is right around the corner, so don't wait, man. Get the most awesome gift you're ever going to get right here. So I'm going to leave you guys with a little bit of a project here for the week. Um, it's a project that I love to do once I discover how to do it. It's really awesome. A lot of photographers, this is kind of a fun thing for us to do. So I'm going to tell you guys really, really quickly how to do something called drawing with light or painting with light. So all you need is a camera that you can put manual settings on. So that could be a bridge camera or that could be a DSLR. You got to put it on manual. Um, and then you need a tripod or some kind of a source to study your camera. So you, if you don't have a tripod, then find a table, a stack of books, a chair, um, you know, duct tape it to the wall, whatever you're going to do. Uh, and then you need some kind of a light source. Um, I have a little pin light here that I use. Um, I've used the laser pointer, um, you know, your cell phone, lots of things. It's really, you know, kind of cool. Whatever creates light you can use for this. And basically it's really simple. You turn on your camera, you set it to a medium aperture. Um, some of this stuff is not a perfect science. you got to kind of pick and choose and guess. Try one, see if it works. If it doesn't, then, you know, alter it. And then you need to be able to have a long shutter speed. So um, we're talking like full seconds. So, you know, five seconds, eight seconds, 30 seconds, however long. And you just kind of play with your settings until you get a good picture. Um, but all you do is you take your light source in a very, very dark room. So when it's nighttime or if you go into a dark room, um, it has to be dark. Hit the uh, shutter button on your camera there and take your light source and all you do is you just move it in the air and you draw pictures, write your name, make stars, make smiley faces, whatever you have to do. You have that long shutter speed so the whole time that you're drawing, your camera is collecting all that information and it's going to collect it all into one photograph so that when you look at your photograph, you actually have a light drawing. Um, if you're going to use like a, a laser pointer, I do... Um, suggest that you do not face your camera like I'm doing now. Uh, any other light source works great, face your camera. But if you use a laser pointer, face your camera at like a wall or something and draw on the wall, you'll get the same effect. But if you point a laser pointer at your camera, it could ruin your sensor, so don't do that. But, um, you know, give it a shot, give it a try. It's something fun. You learn a little bit about uh, long shutter speeds and how you can grab information on a long shutter speed. Play with it and see what you get. Um, until next time, this is DJ PVC, Tomorrow's Brewing Shipley, and we'll see you later.